so much all of you for attending this new Braj festival. And so much, so much appreciation and thanks to Srila Gurudev. Srila Gurudev asked, oh why have we called him? But I think it's more like, oh he has called us. And also, so many thanks to His Divine Grace Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, by whom so many of us have come here. Haribo! This is truly a worldwide Sangha that includes everyone without any, any other consideration except performing pure devotional service, pure bhakti. So, just one thing before we begin to talk about all the different nice savas everyone has done. I just wanted to mention that uh, Srila Gurudev said during our Giriraj Govardhan Anakut Mahamahotsava festival, he said anyone who has come to this program, then Giriraj will give them, offer them any boon. And when Krishna and the Bridge Bossies, they did Anakut Mahamahotsava, then at the end Giriraj offered a boon to the Bridge Bossies. And they didn't want any boon, but Giriraj insisted. So they said, oh, please let Krishna have a long life. Let him have good health and have no obstacles and always be happy. So since Gurudev is saying we can have any boon, I think we can all easily say that we pray for our boon to be that Srila Gurudev has a very long life. And we're begging Srila Gurudev, please, I know maybe it's not possible, but we're begging that you'll please, as our boon, that you'll come here again to New Brad. Please, please. Uh, and we would like your permission. I mean, we'll see any boon like this, it should come true, so it must come true. We also want to continue having, in your honor, with your blessing, many, many wonderful wonderful festivals here in New Braj, in your honor. Jai! Jai! Sri Gurudev has described that these festivals in New Braj are so special and the Hari Kata is so high that they will be spoken about for 1,000 years. Hari
So Shirley Grudev has also said that not only do we thank the, the uh, speakers, but we also thank the listeners, anyone who has come to listen, those who have cleaned the floors, those who cut the vegetables, those who cook, wash the pots, those devotees who open up the, their homes, and those devotees who come from far and near. Clean the toilets, especially. <laughs> and I want to give a special thanks in advance to all the names of anyone that I don't mention. And because we also want to keep this somewhat brief, we're mainly mentioning the heads of different areas. But to everyone, you know who you are. We give our deepest, deepest thanks and appreciation for all of your help and service at this festival. I have the great honor to have so many sannyasis come here. So firstly, I'd like to thank um, Sripad Madhav Maharaj. Hare Krishna! Doctor, doctor, with his doctorate that we were so fortunate to see. Double doctorate. And, and congratulations and excitement for seeing his new book on the bio biography of Srila Gurudev coming very soon at this party. Hare Krishna! And to... Uh, Shri Padmanabh Maharaj. Haribo! We have two Bhagavat Maharajas. <laughs> Bhagavat Maharaj and Bhagavat Maharaj. Uh, Shri Padamadar Maharaj. Haribo! And all this nice translation so we could understand Srila Gurudev's Hindi. <laughs> Haribo! <laughs> To Ashram Maharaj, Shri Pak Ashram Maharaj. Hari Bhav! Shri Pak Vishnu Maharaj. Hari Bhav! And Shri Pak Sajan Maharaj. Hari Bhav! And Shri Pak Abhaduk Maharaj. Hari Bhav! Also, we've been very fortunate to have a special guest with us this year, not just for the first time, but now second, <laughs> third time. Shri Mati Uma Didi. Damarani Didi. Yes, Damarani Shimati Shramarani Didi. All gave so much sweet Harikata for one week every day. And to let you know, tomorrow also, all day long, tomorrow morning, Shimati Shramarani Didi will give a class to. Giving class at 7.30 a.m. on Harinam and Diksha. Then uh, Sripad Sajan Maharaj will give class at 10. Sripad Avadut Maharaj at 3 o'clock. And at 5 o'clock we will have a sannyas panel where all sannyasis come. And we'll give Harikata in the evening and wonderful prasad all day long. Okay. Also, we're very fortunate... Uh, Srila Gurudev comes, but he comes. We One devotee today said something very sweet, that Srila Gurudev, he has two arms. One arm is Sri Padmada Maharaj, and the other arm is Sri Brajanath Prabhu. Haribo! And then all of the entourage, you know, all these festivals, everywhere they go, they bring a festival with them. All of Srila Gurudev's entourage. Wherever they go, it's a traveling festival, even if it's just them and a house. So, we have Madhuvrat Prabhu. And Vrindadini. And all the ladies and men who help, help them in their services, all the assistants. Oh, and also Achutta Prabhu. And Tunga Vidyadini. So now, also, a very special thanks. Um, to Nirguna Prabhu and Nilachala Didi. They first welcomed Srila Gurudev into their home in this community uh, 15 years ago and will be indebted to them forever for this. And also the same to um, Shravan Kumar Prabhu and Angelita Devi. Okay, we're coming. Okay, so we go right to the kitchen. Uh, the most unbelievable Brajanath Guru has just told me to remind me to say the kitchen, the prasad this year was out of this world. And, and there are no words to describe it in English. 
Okay, and so many cooks headed by Shravan Kumar Prabhu in the kitchen, uh, Damaraj Prabhu, Dilachala Didi, Bohita uh, Prabhu, Vasudev, Madan Mohan, Tirtha Pad, Pijma, Radhanath Prabhu. Shama Priya Didi. Thank you so much to the cook and also to all the servers and to all the devotees and Saivites who came every night so late washing pots, scrubbing floors, cleaning the temple rooms here. A tireless job beginning early in the morning going till late, late at night. You know what they say, an army runs on its stomach. So I think this army was fed very well. With wonderful Bhagavad Prasad Makhiv. So also the cleanup crew, especially like the toilets, we could mention that more than once. And the garbage cleaning and everything, I think headed by Bharat Prabhu and Maitreya Muni. And the whole crew, remember I, I can't mention everyone's name, but everyone is a big part. Huh? Okay, thank you. So, also, just in case you hadn't heard, you know, this has been a real trial and tribulation. This festival was so big, so wonderful, but about a month and a half before it started, in the late spring, all the trees had bloomed, and we had a freak storm with, with big snowflakes, and they were very wet, and many trees crashed all over these properties. And it took us about three weeks just to clean them up. And we were wondering at one point, wow, can we do this? Can we finish? and make this festival ready. Even then it was a continuing, very difficult weather, rain, a little bit more snow, so many things, but somehow it was like a miracle. We were able to clean it up and get it prepared. And during that time, we had between 10 and 20 devotees every day here doing service to prepare. And then in that last week, we had 30 and up to at the end, 40 devotees every day working tirelessly to make so many preparations. Because we also, if you noticed, expanded this festival site and we built a wall back there, especially that was headed up by Nichananda Prabhu. Haribo! And we, we, we rented a big bulldozer tractor, we made so many pads and a root cellar, and from fallen trees and other trees that we thinned out, he actually built a wall across there, and it looks like a fort if you go behind it, and we named it Fort Braj. <laughs> so, also, preparing the guest house, the temple house for so many guests. We had Radha Priya, Prabhadidi, Madhusudan Prabhu, Chandra Kala Didi, and so many more. John of Aditi, so many names. Thank you so much. Also, during that time, there was so many devotees here, we hadn't expected such a crew, and Madhusudan Prabhu stepped forward, and every day he cooked so many preparations all day. We would come together about noon and have um, noon time Arctic and chant and take prasad and then say, okay, let's go back and get back out there and keep going. So thank you so much to him and all the cooks during that time. Also to the cow seva, taking care of the cows and preparing um, Subhadra for the Anakut Mama Hotos, Nichananda Prabhu and uh, Madhusudan Prabhu. Also, the Pujaris in the temple and taking care of deities all year long, Pran Kishore Prabhu and Champaka And the Kirtaniyas from LA, Vijay Prabhu and Saraswati Deity. Kamala Kanta Prabhu, doing so much groundskeeping. Oh, oh, flowers, beautiful, beautiful flowers in gardens. Anyway, later on tonight, after Srila Gurudev has gone in, we have a few more pages. We'll continue to read the list. So, so we can properly, you know, com complete it. So one last thing. A few more pages. Huh? Few more pages there. Just one thing. Just 
just one thing. Only one, one word. Okay. <laughs> Stop one word. Just a, uh, an update for devotees. We just wanted to let you know. I know that you're appreciating this festival so much and this new Braj community. We wanted to give you an update quickly on what's going on here. And we wanted to inform you that the current state and future hopes for the development of this new Braj community. And for the last three years, Gurudev has been taking care of this and has given so much support, purchasing the land, taking care of the school. Now a, a time has come when we're asking both the local devotees as well as, as those that have a heart to serve and preserve this Holy Tirtha project to please come forward and take responsibility if you could help us to make continue to make this project what it is and grow it to even so much more for the pleasure of Srila Gurudev. Um, those who are interested should contact me and we are forming a board of responsible devotees that will that can help contribute financially and managerially to support with a shared vision this project to bring pleasure to Srila Gurudev and to have a place for you to continue to come, maybe to live and certainly to have festivals continually. So, new Braj Dham Aki Jai! Srila Gurudev Aki Jai! New Braj Festival 2010 Aki Jai! With Thai Gaur Premanandi! Please start drama. Tonight, for the pleasure of Srila Gurudev and the assembled Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis, we very humbly present this drama titled Beggar of the Night. It is our sincere hope that you will sprinkle your mercy on us and forgive our mistakes and offenses. Desiring to understand the glories of the Night Night of Sri Krishna appeared in this world in the form of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Adorned with your moods and bodily complexion, he became fully absorbed in the thoughts of Krishna. One night, in Jagannath Puri, he wandered the shores of the ocean with Raya and Swarup Damodar.
and this entire world seems void. One year, the lucky lady girl decorated her plunge very nicely. Her sakis were there, headed by Lolita and Vishaka. They had decorated Radharani's punj with various fragrant flowers like Madhavi, Malati, Beli, Malika. Such a nice fragrance was emanating from these flowers that many bumblebees were coming around them. Radharani's intimate girlfriends were waiting at the door of the punj while Sri Radha was inside, eagerly waiting for Krishna to arrive. Oh, my beloved is coming. Sham Sundar is coming soon. Oh, Sham, do I hear footsteps? Oh, perhaps Sham Sundar is not coming. Quickly, go and see if Shama Sundar is coming. Hurry. I believe I have. Oh, Shabya, please tell me where he is. My Pran Saki is feeling great anxiety. Mm, let me try to remember. Last time I saw Madhav, he was in the country of my Saki, Chandravali. <gasps> Lalita! Ishaka! That crooked cheater! Is in Chantravali's kunj! Unreliable person! Unreliable person! <laughs> that black boy has cheated our Radhe again! But how could he? How could he dare? Just wait until we tell Radhika! Radhe! Radhe! <coughs> Sham? Sham is in Chantravali's kunj! What? How dare he? Sham Sundar is mine, and only mine. If that crooked cheater tries to enter my kunj, do not allow him to enter. Unreliable person, unreliable person. Oh yes, yes, we won't allow that crooked cheater into the kunj of our Saki. Come Vishaka, we must guard the kunj. Stop! No admittance. Get out from here. Unreliable person. <laughs> Our Pranisaki, dear most friends, has decorated this kunj so nicely. Where were you? And why are you coming here now? Is there something you wanted? Please, please excuse me. My dear Lolita and Shaka. I have so much affection for your Saki, and I know that I am a great offender. But please, tell my beloved Radhe that I am here now, falling at your feet and begging to be forgiven. For Radhe, has my Panavala become? Hmm. Has the Lord of my heart, Shama Sundar, arrived yet? Oh. Why should Sham come to me? Indeed, I am very ill-fated. There are so many beautiful girls. Angels of heaven are there. They are all eagerly trying to catch Shama Sundar and give him pleasure. So be it. Let him accept their worship and be happy. But 
don't know why a simple girl like me gave him everything. I gave him my life and soul. I have loved him. Now I am burning in this blazing fire of separation. Let me be burned to ashes. Let my shaman be happy. In this extreme mood of separation, Shimati Radhika had become like a mad woman. Lalita, seeing this, was unable to say anything and returned to the entrance of the Kunj. Oh, Lalita, you see, I am a great offender. I know that your Saki, she has developed a great silkiness. I realize that. But you see, I have this faith. If you just allow me to enter into the Kunj, I am sure that when she sees my beautiful Shams in their form, all of her silkiness will vanish in a moment. What? <laughs> you cheater! What are you saying? Seeing your beautiful Shama Sundar form, you think that my Pranasaki will forget everything and all her silkiness will vanish in a moment? Get out. Get out from here. Aren't you ashamed to say such a thing? Who are you? Are you greedy for her love or is she greedy for your beautiful Shama Sundar form? I think that you have forgotten that although you are Madan Mohan, my Saki is Madan Mohan Mohini, the enchantress of Madan Mohan. All I know is that one day you will have to cry and cry. I tell you, Sham, you will have to cry for her love. Now get out from here. Unable to see Mr. Rabbit's Krishna was bewildered, heartbroken. He left and went to the banks of the Jamuna. There, he threw away all his nice garments and ornaments. Laying down on the ground, Krishna began to cry in deep separation. Purnamasi is Yogamaya, and she arranges all of the leelas in Brajabhumi. The activities of Yogamaya are so wonderful that sometimes even Krishna cannot understand them. Although Purnamasi Devi knows everything, she became astonished when she saw Krishna in such a morose condition. <gasps> oh, Shamlala! Nandadula! Oh, my poor boy! What has happened? Oh, mother, I went to see my dear most Radhika, but when I tried to enter into the coach, I was not allowed in. Hmm. Gotcha. <laughs> so, I think I'm understanding this. Yes, my son. I will send Vinda over. She can give you some good advice. And you should follow this advice, whether you like it or not. <coughs> so, are you ready to follow this advice? Well then, Shah. Vrinda Devi, ha Vrinda! Vrinda Devi, please help me. I must meet with my Radhika. I have come under the direction of Purnamasi, who has told me everything. There is nothing you can do to meet with Radharani and break her sulkiness. There is only one way. If you do exactly what I say, then there is some hope. I will do anything you say. I cannot understand what to do. I'm simply bewildered. All right, but you'll have to give up this dress of a coward boy. You'll just 
have to give it up. And you do have such nice curling hair. Shave it all off. No more nice curls. Yes, yes. Give up your kastuba jewel. <coughs> Way. Fit in three places. You will have to give up all these things. And as for this blackish body, no. You will have to give it up. And take off your yellow garments. Put on a saffron garment and become like a beggar. Yes, yes, you'll have to give up your bumpsy too. No more enchanting flutes. <laughs> Instead, I will teach you a very nice song. Then, singing and dancing, you will go to Raja's Quinch. If you do this, then there is some
Your body is covered with a blue side and your bodily complexion is that of molten gold. Until now, you were mad for Kanupain. Oh, Gandharvike, you were stealing the mind of Krishna, enchanting him with your beautiful form and qualities. But today, Kanu Krishna is moving from door to door, begging Radha Prem, Radha Prem, Radha Prem. O oh, Sanyasi Thakur, where did you learn such a beautiful song? I have a guru. Her name is Gandharvika. I have learned it from her. Why have you come here? What do you want? I'm a sannyasi. I don't want anything from this material world. I have given up everything and I'm a beggar of praying only. Oh, Sanyasi Thakur, can you help us? Our Saki is very distressed. She is in a dying condition. Her future looks very bad, ill-fated. Oh, Sanyasi Thakur, can you calculate the fortune of our Pranasaki? Yes, yes, I know how to do it. <laughs> but who has taught you this? Oh, my guru, Gandharika, she just taught me all these things. <laughs> oh, Sanyasi Thakur, please, come in the Kunjavar Saki so you can calculate her fortune. By her blessings, you will certainly receive praise. Oh, yes, yes, Sanyasi Thakur, please come. Yes. <laughs> you must. Why not? <laughs> I must go because I am a beggar of that praying. I am greedy for that praying. Praying Vigari, so I must go. Yes, you must come. Lalita, go tell what Radhika, a wonderful sannyasi, has come. <coughs> Let Raja Bauchi do whatever he likes. He may embrace me or kill me. He may burn me in the blazing fire of separation, not giving me his darsha. He is a debauchee after all, but still, he will always be my Pana, the Lord of my heart, and no one else. Oh, Radhe, be pacified, have patience. A nice and yassi Thakur has come. He will calculate your fortune and tell you whether you can meet with your Pranavalaba, the Lord of your heart. After carefully arranging two seats on the edge of Radharani's kund, Lalita requested the sannyasi to take his seat there. Then Shumati Radhika came, wearing a veil, because she never looks at the face of any male except for Sri Krishna. Please, please! I'm a dandy sannyasi. I cannot touch the hand of any lady. No, no, no. My sannyasi dharma would be broken. But then how can you calculate? I can calculate your Saki's fortune by seeing the lines upon her forehead. <laughs> oh, sannyasi Thakur, you see, our Saki never looks at the face of any male in this entire world. She is very strict in this matter. Oye Baba, I am a Dhanvi Sanyasi. Don't you understand? I have no desires. I have given up everything. I am only a beggar begging love. Why is your Saki ashamed to remove her veil before a Dhanvi Sanyasi? No, no, no. If your Saki removes the veil, then I can calculate. I am no ordinary male. Oh Radhe, I went to Chandravali's kunj just to increase your attachment to me. When your mod increases, I become so astonished. 
and today your highest mood has been expressed. I could not find any other means to break your sulkiness. That is why I put on this sanyas dress and became like a beggar, begging praying. Oh Radhe, you have such love for me. Just for me, you have given up all family relations, which are so difficult to break. How is it possible that I could ever repay you? Please, let your own glorious deeds be your compensation. Let Krishna tightly embrace this maid servant who is attached to his lotus feet and make me his very own. Or let him break my heart by not being present before me. He is a debauchee and can do whatever he likes. Even if he sports with other lovers directly in front of me, he is still my Panana, the Lord of my heart, and I desire no one other than him. This Madhur Leela has come. Very successful. <coughs> the Shamarani uh, Krishna part, Radhar part. Most important, Jagnama part. <laughs> I appreciate their last Madhure in our Samapai. So thank you all and try to realize this Leela in your heart and try to follow. Gaur Pramanande. Haribo!
beautiful here? Oh, Kamala. Kamala. I couldn't get out of there. Don't push, don't push, don't push, push. I'm not pushing. Many times. This is the best new barge festival ever. Thank you for coming, Gurudev. Thank you, Gurudev. Thank you, Gurudev. What you think? Jai Itai Goranga. Watch your feet, watch your feet. Watch your feet, don't give my flat off. Nitai Goranga Jai, Nitai Goranga. Nitai Goranga Jai,
and preserve that's been very successful. Look at that town. You know, I always say Guru Das, Disciples and Students Association. So, you know, there's a lot of details, but I think we should really put the details aside temporarily and not, I, I want to project. I know Rookie's saying something different, but I... I no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I've not talked to Radha Kunt extensively, and we are not under, there's not an ax over our head with a... June uh, 16th, Wednesday, Wednesday, 2010. 
Krishna, Hi Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hi Hi, Hi Rama, Hi Rama, Hi Rama, Hi Hi. Hi Krishna, Hi Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hi Hi, Hi Rama, Hi Rama, Hi Rama, Hi Hi. Hi Krishna, Hi Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hi Hi, Hi Rama, Hi Rama, Hi Rama, Hi Hi.